When Miss J was dancing, the Lord released a breaker anointing over the body. Then he gave me Psalms 144 and 1. He released a breaker anointing to break through and break up hard ground in our lives. Although the ground is tough, which is the warfare, he has prepared our hands for war in this season. Because we receive this mantle of grace and authority, we will work victoriously and walk victoriously in this season. Where it has been harder in the past to break through, keep pressing, it is coming. The other person said to me, had nothing to do with each other. She said, what's today's date? I told her, she said, six is the number of man. Nine is the number of fruitfulness. Twelve is the number of governmental order. God is unifying man first and showing his fruitfulness to the United States of America to bring back a country to him. All we see is how great our God is. The whole nation will know me as God. No one will be left behind because my word says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. This nation is mine. I called it into existence. If the people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, then I will pour myself out onto you. She said, Pastor Rose, stop and look. God is trying to unify his body to the different people in here, different colors, different nationalities, different churches, you got Baptist, Koji, Catholic, what have you. But everybody is on one accord, praising the same God. God is trying to talk to us. Wow, the bishop talked. Bishop said, you got it. Bishop said that what she heard God say to her was that it all be twisted together. And that's, that makes sense, Bishop, because God deals with cords. A threefold cord is not easily broken. So if we take our praise and our worship and what we have to give to God and we twist it together and twist ourselves together as one, the enemy can't break us. Because there's strength in the forming of that cord. This is church, Bishop. I know you're supposed to be talking, though. Because I kept sitting there looking at you thinking, she got to say something. So you can say something. Please? We listening. Because you got God's cell phone number. One of the things I want to tell you, when I say good news, I, I'm not talking about good news, church, okay? I'm talking about good, the good news that is more than the church. He is the head of the church. He's awesome, wonderful, glorious, mighty, holy God, ever-present, knows everything. But anyway, uh, I want to talk to you just about, one, how far God would go to keep his focus with you. Amen. That's how far will he go to keep his focus with you. Yesterday, I was uh, talking to Pastor Julia on the phone. And she told me that some man from Africa had called. Had a ministry, good news. Ours is good news as well. He wanted to be submitted work under us, you know, work with us and that kind of stuff. And I sat there because I began to understand that to God, that's probably across the street. Because to God, it's like across the street. Because God is everywhere present. As a matter of fact, he, he travels 365 seconds per minute. 
life that might not be exactly right, but is, right, is very clear, near right. But when you think about his transference in the spirit realm, we bump into him every time we go somewhere. And the, and, the, and the instructions that he has given unto us, and he has given them unto us that we might come out of the situation that we are in. Some people he's bringing out because he has need of them. He didn't take them to jail forever. He took them long enough to make sure that they were in the right place doing the right thing at the right time. So as if, as if that wasn't enough, Sunday, last Sunday, I was at Will Avenue Baptist Church, and we celebrated our 50th anniversary. And I was one of the folks sitting up there, so uh, people would talk, try to wave at you and that kind of stuff. The lady next to me, there were two women and three men, and the woman next to me, said to me, I, I, I need to see you. I need to talk to you. And she kept looking vaguely familiar. I, I'm not going to talk all day. I'll, I'll leave it there. Vaguely familiar. So the next day when she called, I, I asked one of the pastors to pick her up and bring her over to my house because I have a prayer group that meets at my house on a regular basis on Friday and so I knew it would be okay. So she came in and I looked at her, and to tell you the truth, I did not know this lady. And she said, you remember when we were in Florida, and you remember when we were here, and you remember when we were there? She was just telling me something like that. <laughs> I was like, but I had peace. And I want to tell you that when you are doing something with the Lord, you better make sure you have peace. A peace that surpasses all understanding because sometimes the peace is your signal. It's that you are on the right path. And if you can't, if you can't stay in that spiritual plane, then there's another one that's open for you and you need to find it. Get out of there as quickly as possible. What would have worked for you will now work against you. Anyway, I said that it was like somebody took a shade off of a lamp and pulled it back. And I looked at this lady. I said, hi, I know who you are. But what she told me, the Lord did not want her to tell me until after I had received the fullness. So I couldn't even understand the lady. Couldn't even. <laughs> but that to me was another indication of God's faithfulness in watching over us, keeping us within the realm that he would have us to be in. Okay, and I'm going to the, to the real, like, final one because a lot of times we, we don't know what we're supposed to do. God told me that he was, you know, just like raising up people. He was giving me a whole new uh, place to abide. People you don't even know are going to be calling you mother and all of this kind of stuff. Nobody looking for that. But, but if it happens, it happens because that's where God is. Do you understand that God is interested in how we are causing ourselves to be planted and to do his work? But the one that, that really got me, and this is, this is good, I was he told me, he said, Dorothy, stop letting people fill your head up with bad news. He said, when a person comes to you, he said, regardless of what they say, he said, that's good news. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. Now, how am I going to verify that it's good news? Because the word says that, da, 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 da. Because the word says that, da, 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 da. And, and, and get it finished. Amen. 